Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix solo leveling arise overdrive game not launching or won't launch or not opening issue on PC. So let's go through it. So the very first method is to check system requirements. So for that, go to Steam, uh, search for the game. After that, go below and here you will find the system requirements to play the game. Make sure your PC have all the required specs and then try to launch the game. If not, next method is to restart your PC. For that, click on the Windows icon over here. Now click on Power, then select Restart. So this will restart your system. After that, try to launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not, next method is to update your graphics card. For that, go to the Windows Search, Search for Device Manager. Now here you have to expand Display Adapter, select your graphics card, right click on it. Click on Update Driver and then click on Search automatically for drivers. So this will search for the best drivers and update it and after that try to play the game nvidia and amd users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to modify launch options so for that go to steam under library section select your game now right click on it click on properties here under general you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and check if it's working or not if not, again come back, type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and see if it is working. If not, remove it and then move to the next solution. Next method is to delete easy anti-cheat folder. So uh, for that, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it. Click on manage, now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Now here you can see easy anti-cheat folder. You just have to delete it but before that you have to create a backup so you should create a backup uh, wherever you want and after that simply delete this after deleting it go to steam again right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then verify integrity of game files so this will again reinstall easy anti-cheat folder and after that check if you can play the game if not, next is to verify integrity of game files. So for that, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties, now click on install files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. So uh, you have to wait for some time. And after the game files are verified, now launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not, next solution is to allow the game through firewall. For that, go to Windows search, search for Windows security. Now click on firewall network protection click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings and after that here you have to select your game if you cannot find the game over here you have to click on allow another app click on browse after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed add the game to the list and after adding it select it make sure both public and private boxes are ticked and after that click on ok and then launch the game and then check if it's working or not if not next method is to run game from installation folder for that go to steam select your game under library section right click on it click on manage click now click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder here you have to select the game application and double click on it and check if it is opening or not if not you have to run the game as administrator for that right click on the application click on properties click on compatibility and here Select run this program as an administrator, click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check. If not, again come back, select this run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7, click on apply and ok and then check. If not, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and ok and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem. If it doesn't resolve, come back, deselect all of these, click on apply and ok and then move to the next solution. Next method is to check graphic settings of the game. So when a graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality, resolution, etc. Then somewhere it impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next method is to stop overclock CPU and GPU settings. Sometimes overclocking makes the CPU or GPU unstable. So you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in the background. This will help you to fix the issue. 
नेक्स्ट मेथड इज टू डिसेबल इन गेम ओवरलेज सो स्टीम यूजर्स गो टू स्टीम क्लिक ऑन स्टीम ऑप्शन क्लिक ऑन सेटिंग्स नाउ क्लिक ऑन इन गेम एंड हियर यू कैन सी इनेबल द स्टीम ओवरले वाइल इन गेम ऑप्शन इफ इट इज इनेबल्ड यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन इट टू डिसेबल इट वॉन्स डन लॉन्च द गेम एंड चेक इफ इट्स वर्किंग ऑन नॉट फॉर जी फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस यूजर्स ओपन जी फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस टैप ऑन गेर आई कैन बी साइड यूजर नेम क्लिक ऑन जनरल एंड देन स्विच ऑफ इन गेम ओवरले ऑप्शन फॉर डिस्कॉर्ड ओवरले गो टू यूजर सेटिंग्स गेम ओवरले टैप एंड स्विच ऑफ इनेबल इन गेम ओवरले ऑप्शन फ्रॉम यूर next solution is to install visual c++ file so for that go through the link i have already provided in the description and paste it in your browser or even you can search for visual c++ files on your browser now after the website opens go below and here you have to click on the link after it is downloaded open it and here you will get an option of repair or install option so simply click on repair or un or install you have to wait for some time and once you get set up successful message close this now restart your pc once after restarting launch the game and check if it is working now if not next is to update windows for that go to the windows search search for check for updates option now here you have to click on check for updates and it will check if any update is there if yes update your windows to the latest version and then launch the game next method is to disable antivirus program as well as firewall so What you need to do is you have to toggle off real time protection. So for that go to the windows search search for windows security. Now click on virus and th uh, threat protection and then go below click on manage settings and here you will see real time protection in my case it is turned off. If it is turned on you have to turn it off and once done now again go to the windows search search for windows defender firewall open it and click on turn windows defender firewall on or off now here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both public and private network settings and then click on okay and then launch the game and check if it is working or not but remember to enable the protection later on if it doesn't resolve next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add the game to the list so you have to click on add desktop app after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed hmm. here the game application you have to se select and add it now after the game is added over here click on the arrow icon under gpu preference you have to select high performance and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not then the final solution is to reinstall solo leveling arise over drive game so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option this will remove the game completely from your system after that restart your pc after restarting again launch steam and reinstall solo leveling arise over drive game and then click on play button and check if it is opening or launching or not